Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on using Alexa. Very cool tool located at alexa.com for determining competitor keywords, particularly the top 10 keywords that they have bringing traffic to their site. So a good thing to do is first pick out who your top competitors are. Who tends to show up at the top of search results when you type in keywords that you want people to search for you under and see your site under? Basically these are your competitors but your best competitors, your best online competitors. What is driving traffic, what keyword searches are driving traffic to your competitors' websites? So, we'll run a little example here. Basically, what you do to start using this tool is type in a URL for a top competitor. But before we do that, why don't we go over to Google and let's say, well, in our previous examples, we used custom tailored clothing. Okay, so you can see we have paid results, organic results. Uh, the top three, TomJames.com, MyCustomTailor.com, and IndividuallySuited.com. Let's say that my tailor is us. And actually, let's say we're not even on this search results page. Okay, we just want to see what keywords are driving tra driving traffic to our top competitors who we're going to say are these three guys so first thing we would do is type in our top one www.tomjames.com then you go ahead and hit search and you'll see right here this get result uh, sorry get details button is what you're going to want to click it gives you a brief overview. It says the Alexa traffic rank of all the sites that they have in their database, the traffic rank in the US, um, and then finally the sites that are linking in, which if you didn't know by now is probably the most, well, not probably, it is the most important factor in the Google al algorithm uh, for getting better organic search engine listings rankings so to get details and since we're talking about keywords here and building keyword lists the only thing I really use here with Alexa is search analytics this tab right here top queries or top keywords from search traffic and here they are Tom James, fitted suits for men, custom suits. Now, if I were a search engine marketer, well, I am, but if I was running the campaign, the PPC campaign for my client who is in the same business as TomJames.com, I would basically filter out everything with the brand in the keyword. So, I see here that fitted suits for men, that's a hot keyword for them, and drives the second most amount of traffic to their site percentage-wise, next to their actual brand name. You can also see custom suits is a, is a high-ranking one. So I would filter out anyone with Tom James, if I was a competitor of theirs, and I would add them to my keyword list. Uh, you could merely copy and paste um, and that's all there is to it if you want to get more details you can click on the keyword and you can see the sites that are also receiving the most traffic from this query so here's another one that we can type in from here you can do a little more digging you see Indochino is a website 
I don't remember if they were in the top results. Let's go back over here. Yeah, they're not even top five or on the first page. So it's got details on them. You see they have a lot more sites linking in though. So perhaps if we did the custom suits search, we would start seeing higher rankings for them. And there you go, they're number two. So this is how you do keyword research using Alexa. Great, cool, great tool. It's usually for analyzing big competitors. You can also see percent changes in search queries, which is interesting to, to note. See what keywords tend to be trending more. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this video on using Alexa for keyword research was useful to you. Have a good one.